All right, so um, career video, why not? Uh, and this is brought to you by Lucas, who uh, sent this this jersey, which is fantastic. This is Cladno Knights, and it was brand new in the packaging, still with the tags on it. And I was like, well, all right, let's do this. I've had a lot of requests for a Yager video, and I've always said two things. One, that video is going to be epic. And two, he's still playing. And right now, he's still playing. He still plays hockey. He's older than me. He's still playing hockey. And so, it is remarkable that at 49 years of age, he is still playing hockey. Uh, now, 88-89, playing for Claude, now his hometown team. 39 games, 8 goals, 10 assists, 18 points. 89-90, his draft year, pretty good year again with Cladno. 51 games, 22 goals, 28 assists, 50 points. And Yager, I've included his, his stats outside the NHL for a very specific reason. And we'll, uh, there's a couple, actually, and we'll go through that. So he's the number five pick in 1990, a very deep draft. And it was seen that that top five was stellar, fantastic. And all, all five of those top five had pretty good careers in the National Hockey League, right? Uh, not all of them lived up to advanced billing, but they had pretty good careers. Yagers was clearly the best of the five. So Pittsburgh, who won that draft right out of the gate, 80 games played in his rookie year by Yager, 27 goals, 30 assists for 57 points. His rookie year, the Pittsburgh Penguins win their first Stanley Cup. So he plays 24 games in the playoffs, 3 goals, 10 assists, 13 points. Not as prominent as he would be the year after. So he's an all-rookie team player, and he's sixth in Calder voting and wins the Stanley Cup. So him being sixth in Calder voting means that if you're cheering for a rookie right now and you're like, oh, Raymond's going to win it, or Sider's going to win it, or Segrist is going to win it, why aren't people talking about this rookie? Yeah, the Calder is, it, it's fine. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the best player in the actual rookie class. It just means that's the one who had the best season. So 91-92, 70 games played, 32 goals, 37 assists, 69 points. He wins another Stanley Cup. This time he's more prominent with Pittsburgh. 24 games, 11 goals, 13 assists, 24 points. So a team that already had Mario Lemieux now has Yarmir Yager. They have two very dynamic forwards who can score in bunches. And we see in the playoffs in 92 just how strong his play is. And then in 92-93... A season which is fantastic for the Penguins, he's pretty fantastic too. 81 games played, 34 goals, 60 assists, 94 points. Now in the playoffs, they got upset that year by the Islanders. So he plays 12 games in the playoffs, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. And for the second straight year, he goes to the All-Star game as well. But it is disappointing that they don't win that third straight Stanley Cup. And I think, really in all honesty, I think it was just they took it for granted that they were going to win that last game against the Islanders, that they didn't win. Uh, and, and for Yager and, and the Penguins, it's a learning experience. Well, 93-94, he plays 80 games, 32 goals, 67 assists, which is 7th overall, 99 points, which is ninth in the league that year. Six games in the playoffs, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points. The oddity of Yager is, as long as this video is, you've seen his two Stanley Cups already awarded. He doesn't win another Stanley Cup in his career. So 94-95, playing 48 games that year because of the lockout-shortened season. 32 goals, which is second overall, 38 assists, which is seventh, and 70 points, which is first. In the playoffs, 12 games, 10 goals, 5 assists, 15 points. He's a first-team All-Star. He's second in heart voting, and he wins the Art Ross Trophy. So pretty big overall run. And what's interesting is that it's seen that when you know Lemieux and, and Gretzky have fallen by the wayside, Yager's going to be the one that's that megastar to carry the mantle for the NHL. No pressure. 95-96, 82 games, 62 goals, which is second. 87 assists, which is third in the league. 149 points, which is second. Just imagine a 149-point scorer, and they're second. In the playoffs, 18 games as the Penguins go on a bit of a run. 11 goals, 12 assists, 23 points. Very good playoffs for Yager. First-team All-Star, fourth in heart voting, and he goes to the All-Star game that year. 96-97, 63 games played, 47 goals, which is 6th, 48 assists, 95 points, which is also 6th in the NHL, 5 games in the playoffs, 4 goals, 4 assists, 8 points. Bit of a down year in that he didn't play as many games. He's still a second team All-Star. If he plays all 82 games that year, probably gets some more award consider consideration, but not bad for 63 games to be on the second team. 
97, 98, he's back up to 77 games played. 35 goals, which is ninth overall in the NHL. We're into the dead puck era. So 35, 40 goals is considered excellent. 67 assists, which is first overall. And 102 points, also first in the NHL. So in the playoffs, six games played, four goals, five assists, nine points. And the frustration for Pittsburgh is real at this stage because, you know, they, they've had some really good teams. They had the two Stanley Cups, but they haven't had another appearance in the finals. They haven't had that next big uh, Stanley Cup final run, right? So that year, he's a first-team All-Star. He's second in heart voting, uh, wins the Art Ross, and he's in the All-Star game. Pretty good year for Yager. 98-99, 81 games, 44 goals, 83 assists, 127 points. The 44 goals is second in the NHL. 83 assists is first, 127 points also first. Nine games in the playoffs, five goals, seven assists, 12 points. He's a first-team All-Star. He wins the Hart Trophy. He wins the Pearson, which is now known as the Lindsay Trophy. And he wins the Art Ross. And, of course, he's in the All-Star game. 99-2000, 63 games. 42 goals, which is fourth, 54 assists, which is third, 96 points, which is first in the NHL. 11 games, 8 goals, 8 assists, 16 points. He's a first-team All-Star. He's second in heart voting. Art Ross winner, uh, Pearson winner yet again. So, of course, that means that the players voted him the best player in the league. And, of course, he's in the All-Star game. 2000-2001, what would prove to be his final year in Pittsburgh? And quite the exit he had. 81 games, 52 goals, which was third, 69 assists, which is first, 121 points, which is also first in the playoffs, 16 games, 2 goals, 10 assists, 12 points. He's a first-team All-Star, wins the Art Ross, and he's third in heart voting. The Penguins have to trade him. It's just, it's not a great situation with Yager at this point, and so the Penguins are, are in a situation where they have to trade him. So, Yager at age 29, this is over 20 years ago, um, he, he basically... He's decided he wants out. He makes it clear he wants to trade. Uh, the team's struggling financially. Uh, Lemieux even tried coming out of retirement to help, you know, get things going. But after that that run and with the first team, all Art Ross and third and Hart, he is traded July 11th. It's not a great trade for Pittsburgh because they 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 are dealing with a, a rival that knows they have to get rid of Yager's salary. So he's traded with Frantisek Kucherik. Kachera, I should say, in exchange for Chris Beach, Chris Beach, Ross Lupuschuk, Michael Civic, and future considerations. So future considerations has been getting traded for a very long time. Future considerations just means that you can go back to a team later and go, hey, we gave you that trade. That worked out really well for you. So we're thinking maybe in this trade you can kick in a little extra, maybe a draft pick. Sometimes it's an agreed upon future consideration, like, hey, if he does well for you, if you win the Stanley Cup, we're going to get a third round pick, something like that, right? So, and and he goes to the Capitals, who aren't exactly a friendly team to the Pittsburgh Penguins. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So 69 games played in 2001-2002 with the Capitals. 31 goals, 48 assists, which is ninth. 79 points, which is fifth. He does play in the All-Star game. The Capitals are going through a tough time. And, and picking up Yager is great and everything, but they're still going through a tough time. 2002-2003, plays 75 games with the Caps, 36 goals, 41 assists, 77 points. They do make the playoffs that year. He plays six games in the playoffs, two goals, five assists, seven points. He does appear in the All-Star game because he's Yaramir flipping Yager. Of course he goes to the All-Star game. 2003-2004, he plays 46 games with the Caps, 16 goals, 29 assists, 45 points. It does not work. This is not a relationship that's working on any level. So January 23rd, the Washington Capitals trade him for Anson Carter. And that's a remarkable deal as well. Uh, any trade involving Yager is definitely worth looking at. So, and Carter has a good run uh, with the Caps as well in that, you know, he, he helps them out a bit and then he gets moved. And, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on at this point. But for Yager, he's moved on to the Rangers. 31 games, 15 goals, 14 assists, 29 points. Plays in the All-Star game. Now, 2004-2005 is wiped out by the lockout. So he goes home and plays in Kladno for 17 games. 11 goals, 17 assists, 28 points. He also plays for Omsk. And in 36 games, 16 goals, 23 assists, 39 points. So he plays 53 games in other leagues while the NHL shut down. And when we talk about Yager and all the goals he doesn't... Or Yager, when we talk about Ovechkin and all the goals he doesn't have, there's certainly goals Yager doesn't have either. 
There's a lockout shortened season here. There's a lockout wiped out season here. Definitely an argument to be made that Yager, if he'd been able to play all those games, and we haven't even got into other games he missed, who knows how many goals he would have scored in his career. So he, he comes back in 5 6 with the Rangers, and it just works. 82 games, 54 goals, which is second overall. 69 assists, which is third. 123 points, which is second in the National Hockey League. So after mediocre, by his standards, returns in Washington, he's just on fire with the Rangers. He's a first-team All-Star. He's second in heart voting, and he wins the Pearson Award. So again, the players are like, yep, we think he's the best player in the league. 2006-2007. 80 games played for the Rangers that year. 30 goals, 66 assists, which is 5th overall, and 98 po 96 points, which is 8th overall in the NHL that year. 07-08, 82 games played, 25 goals, 46 assists, 71 points, and Yager says, I've had enough with the NHL. He leaves the NHL. And so the speculation then becomes, and for me it was a matter of, his three years with the Rangers, there's diminishing returns. From 123 to 96 to 71 points. So the way that I saw it at the time in 08 was, well, he's, he's on the decline anyways, he's going back to Europe, that makes some sense. And I figured that was the end of his NHL career. That it was done in 2008. It's 14 years later. He's still playing hockey. So 2008-2009 with Omsk. He plays 55 games. 25 goals. 28 assists. 53 points. He can still score. 2009-2010. Still with Omsk. 51 games. 22 goals. 20 assists. 42 points. And in his final year playing for Omsk. At least in this go around. Because he played for them in 4 5 as well. 49 games. 19 goals. 32 assists. 51 points. So, Yager returns to the NHL. And it's a, almost a full board. I mean, thinking about, you know, and I don't have his name at the top of this board, because it's at the top of this one. This is a pretty full board for a career, considering it's uh, it's less than half of, of Yager's career. 2011-2012, he signs as a free agent on July 1st of 2011 to return to the National Hockey League after a few years away. And so those three years away, who knows? How many goals did he lose out of his NHL career? 100? Maybe 90, right? Maybe 85, maybe 80. But it's still, it's a huge difference, right? So he plays 73 games for the Flyers that year, 19, game, 19 goals, 35 assists, 54 points. In the playoffs, 11 games, 1 goal, 7 assists, 8 points. It is not the same year as Yager. The interesting thing to me when Yager came back was the role he occupied with teams was more support and less of the primary role, and he seemed to be completely okay with it. This was a player that there was always talk about his, um, you know, he drove cars really fast and he kind of made jokes about it and he was known for being this megastar and all the attention was on him and he really seemed to love that and that just changed and the guy who came over and played for the Flyers, it just felt different. So 2012-2013, there's a lockout. So the first 34, thir first 34 games he plays that year for Cladno, his home team, the Cladno Knights, 24 goals, 33 assists, 57 points. And then he signs with the Stars on July, or he had signed with the Stars on July 3rd of 2012. Plays in Cladno until the Stars get going. 34 games in Dallas, 14 goals, 12 assists, 26 points. On April 2nd, he's traded to Boston. This is one of those rare deals between two teams I cheer for. So he's traded to Boston for a 2013 first, which Dallas uses to select Jason Dickinson, Lane McDermott, and Cody Payne. And if that seems underwhelming, it's because it's a rental and Yager... At this stage, there's a lot of discussion about how old he is, and a lot of people talking about how slow he is. But in Boston, after the trade, 11 games, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points, he bought in. The Stanley Cup Finals, he gets back there with the Boston Bruins. 22 games, he has 10 assists, no goals. There were plenty of people who took laps because he didn't have a goal in those playoffs, uh, and saying, oh, see, he's not good enough anymore. For me, I was really impressed just with his all-around game. He had the 10 assists. He did whatever the Bruins asked of him, and I thought he played quite well. So, Yager, that's his final long run in the playoffs, and I, you know, it was kind of fun to see him do that with the Bruins. 2013-2014, uh, he signs July 23rd as a free agent with the New Jersey Devils. Notice it's July 23rd, so he's out there for a while, and, and that's okay. Uh, with New Jersey, 82 games played, 24 goals, 43 assists, 67 points. So, points-wise... He's still doing quite well, and especially when you consider his age and when you consider that people are still talking about, well, he's not quite fast enough. But he's got 67 points in 82 games, so he's doing all right. You might have to shelter his minutes a little, but he's doing okay. 
2014-2015, he plays 57 games with the Devils, 11 goals, 18 assists, 29 points. On February 26th of that year, he is traded for a 2015 second round pick and a 2016 third, which gets traded a bunch. That third round pick became Rem Pitlick. Yes, Rem Pitlick, who's currently in the NHL now. So 2014-2015, then with the Florida Panthers after that deal, 20 games, 6 goals, 12 assists, 18 points. It just, it works. When Yager reaches somewhere that he's he's happy and things are going well, you can tell right away and you can see it on the scoreboard. So he puts up 18 points in 20 games here after just 29 and 57 games with the Devils before the deal. 2015-2016, a kind of a renaissance here. 79 games, 27 goals, 39 assists, 66 points. He has six playoff games that year for Florida, two assists. He wins the Masterton Trophy. He's in the All-Star Game, and he's seventh in heart voting. So that's the only time on this board that he shows up in the heart voting. And it tells you just how solid a season he had. So he can't follow that up because eventually age wins out, right? 2016-2017, 82 games, 16 goals, 30 assists, 46 points. Still good, but there's more comments now about the speed problem. There's more comments now about, yeah, he can score, but if he gets a goal for you in a game, but there's two goals at the other end when he's on the ice, and that's the discussion that just, it gets uncomfortable, right? Because this is one of the best star players in the history of the game. So 2017-2018, there was some debate about whether or not an NHL team would sign him. On October 2nd, the Calgary Flames finally do come forward and sign him. He only played 22 games with Calgary that year, had one goal, six assists, seven points. And you could see right away it just it it just didn't work, and there wasn't a lot of interest in Yager's um, services at this point. He's in his 40s, and that's just that's that's how that usually works. So for Yager, he ends up going home. He plays five games in Cladno, four assists. 2018-2019 uh, with Cladno, Cladno Knights right here, five game four goals for four games I should say one goal three assists four points. 2019-2020, uh, Cladno, as Cladno bounces back and forth between the Czech first and second league, uh, 38 games played, 15 goals, 14 assists, 29 points in 2019-2020. 2020-2021, he plays 19 games for Cladno, 2 goals, 10 assists, 12 points. And this year, as, as I'm recording this, according to Hockey DB, 28 games, 8 goals, 11 assists, 19 points for Cladno. He is still producing for his hometown team. Uh, there was a video I did not too long ago on how he feels like he has to play for his hometown team because he's worried they will fold if he doesn't play and if they don't draw enough fans and enough attention and enough money and sponsorships. So he is playing at this point, even though he admits he's a step behind. It gets harder and harder every year to play, but he's still got 19 points in 28 games and he's 49 years of age. So it's nothing short of remarkable that he's still playing hockey and players who came into the league after him are coaches in the NHL. Tons of guys have retired since since he made his day. I don't even want to think about how many players that, pl that started after his career started have retired while he's still playing hockey. So in his NHL career, 1,733 games played, which is fourth overall. Uh, now, if he had played those seasons he misses between 08 and 2011 in the NHL, he is your number one guy for, for games in the NHL right now. Uh, Marlowe doesn't catch him. 766 goals, that's third. As I said, you've got to figure what? Three and a half? Uh, the 2012-2013 season, you miss another 30 games there. It's almost four full seasons. He had 16 goals that year in 2012-2013. He probably had another five or six. And uh, yeah, I mean, he absolutely would have been over 800 goals if he'd scored, you know, and, and played all those years in the NHL. Just didn't. Uh, 1,155 assists, which is fifth overall. 1,921 points, which is second all time. Uh, he would absolutely have had 2,000 points if he hadn't uh, decided to go overseas and, and give up the NHL for a few years. In the playoffs, 208 games played, 78 goals, 123 assists, 201 points. His all-time power play goal total, 217. That's 11th. Game-winning goals, he's a gamer. 100 and 35 goals, which is first all-time on the game-winning goals chart. So, it is a remarkable career for Jeremy Yager. It is a long career for Jeremy Yager, and quite impressive indeed. And it's still going. So, we'll consider this the career video because I can't see an NHL team bringing him in. Uh, I can't see him ending up playing any more games in the NHL. 
but it's remarkable he's still playing hockey at a professional level at all. Uh, I know there will be people who say, well, it's not that high you know, of a league. It's it's more of a lower tier. It doesn't matter. He's still playing hockey at 49. That's That requires a level of dedication uh, and, and just physical dedication that uh, very few people have. So remarkable career. Uh, the, the traveling Yagers, I, I guess with the Cladno jersey, I guess I could join them if he ever did come back. But um, I, I think he's probably done at the NHL level, and I think he's okay with that. Uh, he is he is really mellowed as he's gotten older, and he when he was younger, there were times where I'd get irritated with some of the, the prima donna kind of stuff. But yeah, he became one of my favorite players towards the end of his career there, because he was just great. And he, he just didn't... The ego seemed to be gone. And he was a very good leader on and off the ice, and I, I thought he did a very good job wherever he was in playing whatever role the team wanted to play in that time. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.